I would never imagine this was like happening. And you can drink your beer anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. I'm in the ocean. This is where the Chimek is flowing. But I love it. <laughs> that is bullshit. Oh, nice, right? It's very tropical. Pineapple or maybe apricot or something. I'm talking like an expert, but I know nothing. Don't know. It's very fruity yeah, for an IPA. Yeah, it has this aftertaste, a bit like uh, a bit chemical, I would say. Yeah. At the end, yeah, just a bit. The other one is very nice. It's a little hobby. For an IPA, it's not very Yeah, hobby. it's more like a pale ale, I would say. Just because of this aftertaste, that kind of bleach, I would really, really. Really? Yes. I thought it's very fresh, like a mint. It's fresh, but at the end, it's kind of a taste a bit like chemical. Huh? It's stout or porter? Stout, it says. Stout, but to me, it's more, it's more like porter. Porter is giving you a lot of stout. You can dry it. This chocolatey kind of espresso as well, and it's surprising because it's a bit carbonated, which is not very common for stouts. I like it very much. It's a bit heavy, I would say, a bit strong, but it's very nice taste. Chocolate macchiato. Yeah. Ready to go to the next place? We're heading now to place number two. It's called Bros Beer. And it's here right in front of the beach. I don't know if you see it, but that's the beach here in Pohang. Uh, Bros Beer is right here. December with these beers. Uh, these ones are for the guys. What the hell? 
beer is for everybody. You shouldn't. Uh, I know she tries to target the audience or find the niche, but you shouldn't do that with beer. Everybody is able to enjoy everything. Hey, you might enjoy an IPA or a stout, and I might enjoy an ale or a bison or whatever. So please, if you work in a bar and you serve beer, don't target things for ages or genders or sex or whatever. Just encourage everybody to try everything. That's the whole point of the craft beer, trying different beers. Do you agree with me? So I'm gonna try all of them and take them too. <laughs> Close your eyes. And I'm gonna pick. Give me your hand. Try. Very juicy, hoppy. Don't open. No? Don't open. Close your eyes. And I have to say, correct. It is the pale ale. I don't even know the five options. It's five or six? Five. 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 You had me one. Yeah. Oh, it smells a bit like pee. <laughs> <laughs> I would dare it's a uh, bison. Ugh, it's a ale. No? Ah, it's like water, super water. Very light. So, what is it? I would say it's a golden ale. Right! Wow! Next! Correct! <laughs> I can tell you it's the bison for sure. <laughs> I think it's really the. What? Bison? Wheat beer. Have a bison or bison, whatever. Mazayo. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Right. Our third stop is one of our favorites. It's called Daily Beer, aka Samuel Mekju. Let's go. Oh, it feels like I'm, I'm in the 
very refreshing roti. Roti. Go ahead. If you come to Korea and you don't try this, you made a massive mistake. If you look at Chime, Chime beer, this is one of the best things you can come here in Korea. Daily beer for Sengwa Bay. Don't scare me, man. So one of the best things you can do here in Korea is just go to the convenience store and you can drink your beer anywhere. In this case, we are in front of the beach. There is some kind of festival going on. We're just going there and support that DJ. You never said that before in your life. How come now? This is ridiculous. Like 10 years ago, I would never imagine this would like happening. Like right in front of this beach around here. I, I feel like they are trying so hard to attract the young people, like engaging the what like what's going on. Yeah, so we're going to have a lot of 